hope you are doing well and today this is the second part of our login page now what i suggest to you is please pause this video and go back to see the first part if you haven't seen because in this video i'm not going to explain the html part in the last video i have explained the html part so please go back and see and then come back into this video to learn the css part uh, so let's start uh, in the last video what uh, we have done is just we have created this ugly form ugly looking form you can say with html okay now we have to make this form beautiful attractive for the users so we'll use css so just for intents we have to close the web now what we have to do is we have to start our css part so first of all here you can see we have to design our body okay so we'll say body body and then we'll open to these curly brackets now we'll say margin zero okay and then we'll say padding to zero right now we want our background image background image so we'll say url and sorry url okay in that we'll say p2 like uh, whatever uh, name you have saved with you have to say that like i have here p2 dot g i j f i f okay so we'll say p2 dot j f i f okay done this is looking great then uh what we have to do is overflow is equal to hidden okay now we have to set our height height is equal to 400 vh now what i'm to say is as in you have to design all the things as per your need okay so we have to set this height as per your need this uh, background image as per your need margin padding all of the thing as per your need okay so don't copy this code just try yourself and create a new login form this is just for reference okay so one more thing to add is a punt okay so it's a punt family uh times new roman okay so we don't want this okay now our body part is done okay so let's see how it goes so i'll run it I'll say login.html and you can see that I've just uh, like enchanted our background. So you can see our background is like this. Now we have to uh, add some borders, some style to this input boxes and this button too. And you can see the fonts are changed to times new Roman. So let's close this and proceed forward. Another thing is our uh, text field or you can say class. All the classes. So new classes, you can see all the new classes. Okay. So now you can see here our first view class is center. Okay, here it is center. So we'll go in our HTML form and start our center. Center, we'll open this. So now we are configuring our center part portion. Okay. So as uh, per needed, we'll say top uh, 50%. Uh, again, I'm telling you, do it yourself, whatever you need 50%, 60, 65, 70, anything. You know, instead of percent, you can use pixels to px and uh, all that stuff. Okay. So I'll say left, also 50%, 50%. Now I will say trans, tra, transform, translate. Okay, minus 50%, 50%, comma minus 50%. Now, okay, uh, now I will set my width. Width is equal to 400 px. So here, pay attention, this is not vh, it is px pixels, okay. Now we have to say border radius is equal to 10px. Uh, you know, as per need, I will change it in future. And we will say border uh, style, border style is equal to sorry. Sorry. Uh, if I speak is equal to, there is no is equal to used in CSS. So instead of is equal to, we have semicolons. Okay. Now, what is left? Uh, let me see. Okay. So our background color is left background okay not image it's a background color color transparent okay transparent we don't want any background color so this much we have uh, set to our css so we'll save it and again we'll save this too and let's see uh, is any changes occurred after adding more configurations okay so you can see uh, our this whole thing went there at the corner but no problem we'll adjust it okay again i forget one thing over here it is uh, position so first of all we say position not relative it is absolute 
Oke. Okay. Dan now we have to uh, go for center is over. Now we have to go for uh, there is another new class. It is over here. Class. Okay. So it is over here. Text field, right? New class. So you know what happened when we run. It was in the corner. Uh, top right corner. Uh, sorry, top left corner. So we have to fix it. So first of all, uh, what we have to do is uh, again we have to say center. Now we have to edit our h1. So we say h1 and then we will open our bracket. Now text align. Text align is equal to center, right? Then uh, I will say padding. Padding is equal to 0, 0, 20 px and again 0. So four, uh, four padding stop left, bottom, right. And I will just set it 20 px, one of them, right? Now we have to again edit our center part, but this time uh, we will use our form, whole form that we have created. Okay, so it's a form. Then we will open our bracket. Now here we will say for uh, like padding. Okay, sorry, P A W D I padding is equal to 20 px and 40 px, right? 40 px. <laughs> now uh, we will say box sizing B O X box sizing is equal to border border box, right? So box uh, well size of the box will be our the size of the border box, right? So now almost we have done our center part. So let's run it again and see how much we have done. So first of all, let me save it. Now let's go and see. Okay, so I'll try to run. Now you can see how uh, attractive and beautiful this looks. But you know, uh, these input boxes and the small fonts and buttons are not looking so much good. So we have to upgrade them, like ancient them. We have to make them beautiful. So we will go back to CSN and make them beautiful, right? Close this. Now, uh, where that all things lie? So they lie in the second uh, class that is text field, right? So we uh, edit our text field over here. So what we will see is, so uh, we will say form, form, text, underscore, sorry, text, text, underscore, field. And we'll open our new bracket. Here, uh, we will say, First of all, we will uh, apply position with P O position to relative. We will give it uh, relative over here. Not zero zero. Sorry. Then we will use say uh, border bottom. There it is. Border bottom. P O R D L border. So here it is. We will say two P X. And it will be solid. Yes, so I like it solid. And of course color. So World color will be not seen, just we are using it uh, configured, like it will be looking good. And the last one, margin, M -A -G, uh, margin is equal to 50 px, okay, 50 px, px, concentrate on it, px. So it is not percentage, it is px. Okay, uh, we have done many things. Let's run after, now we will run it after some, what more codes. It's no meaning that running after four code lines. So now uh, we have to enhance our text field. Okay, text field. Done, 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 done. Right. <clears throat> so first of all, okay. So we won't say just text field. We will also include our input because we have to enhance our input type. Right. Uh, content view enhance form type. And now it's time for uh, input types. <laughs> And uh, let's go by it. We'll say height is equal to 100 percent. Percent. Okay. Okay. So I just messed up. It is not 100 percent. It is uh, 40, maybe 40 percent. And uh, our width, width will be 100 percent, right? Where it is percent, percent. Okay, here it is. And uh, okay. So again, uh. Sorry for this little mistake. It is px over here, and uh, our font size, f o and the font size is again 20 px, 20 px, right? Now uh, we have to configure that if I enter the text in the text box, so where should it start? Like from where should the text uh, start typing? So we'll say uh, we'll say padding inline start. Okay, start. So from where? Oh, sorry. Padding in line start. So from where it will start? How much gap to put at the beginning? So we will put just 5px right now. 
now we will set our modal radius modal radius okay you are yeah, modal radius 40 px how many 40 px now we will set our modal style maybe yeah our modal style modal style here is we will say solid right that's a background background it is a background node and no and no we don't want any background over here now it's time to say modal modal outline outline width maybe yes outline width okay so it is not outline width it is outline style st outline style and again it is node okay we don't have to set anything now uh, the last one cursor cursor pointer right okay so now we have to add a one more thing that is board of color right we forgot to do that so we'll add it over here you are here board of color that is over here and it's a black black okay so now let's run it and see that how much progress we have made so here you can see just a second now you can see that we have created our 50 percent of login form now you can see our text fields are like we have made it very very looking beautiful like very very attractive uh now it's time for our login button and these two username and password uh like we have to mention the both things and we have to decrease some gap between login form and this first text field so we will close this first of all now okay so now it's time to uh send our labels so we'll say dot text text field now our labels label and then we will say position of your relative and padding sorry sorry padding just padding okay padding we'll say 1px maybe <laughs> okay let's give it 2px and 0 right now we will say bottom B O double D bottom sorry B O double D bottom 70 px and uh, left or uh, 2 px okay maybe we, we should keep 75 px it will be good for us now we will say font size we have to say font size 19 px okay so we increased our font size little bit but we decreased uh, in compared to our text uh, input type right so uh, another thing is transform transform translate y we have to translate y okay so we'll say minus 50 percent so just translate our y we didn't translate all the things so we specified our y now let's run it and see how much we average right so let's go live and uh, here you can see that our uh, labels that username and password and this gap between the login form and the first text field now has been reduced uh, you can see these both have uh, a very good place now the last thing which we have left with is our button so we have to do two things in our button we have to add animations and we have to uh, set in in the, in the form of this our theme okay so we'll close it now for that we will say dot text field dot sorry dot text field we will say input type okay so here we will say uh, open these brackets then we will say input okay and we will say submit as you can be i submit uh sorry 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 uh again messed up we will say type t y t t type is equal to submit now we have to open our brackets okay sorry guys i'm literally sorry because uh, i was just distracted we are also going to be in kind p a port done now no mistake it is perfectly correct for this time now we'll say position relative good 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 now we'll say left 80 px how many 80 not 90 80 80 px and top uh, i will say like we'll keep some error because you know top will be set so we'll just keep uh, one px okay let's keep two px px okay 
So we'll again transform DRA transform. Then so sorry, DRA transform translate y. Okay, so we'll translate y, but this time we'll translate only minus 40 percent. Okay. Now we have to set our width, which will be 50 percent and a height h e i g f t height will be 40 px okay 40 px 40 px so concentrate on this don't keep percentage percentage of your px and percentage has a lot of difference now we'll say background color as blue violet b l u e blue violet and our border not border it will be okay so it will be border radius it will be 40 px and uh, what we are left with there we are going to do much more things let me think so we'll say outline outline sorry outline no <laughs> we don't want to keep anything uh again uh what i'm forgetting it is uh font size uh have we said about font size over here no 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 we haven't said it yet so how much we'll keep uh let's keep 20 px 20 uh, sorry 20 px and our last one border style border style it will be a border style it will be sorry is easier again we'll say curler is equal to pointer okay now uh we have created our styles and added our styles to the button now let's run it and see it so first of all we'll save it uh, we'll destroy the previous one now we'll start the current one so let's go for the paste and here we go oh, sorry what the problem let's close it let's find what's the problem over here i think the problem will be over here only 99 percent let me check okay so uh, nothing i've learned uh maybe i'll uh, have some small spelling mistake over here or some syntax over here uh so let's run it again okay so you can see our login page is ready but something is missing you you know what uh is uh if you type here and we type password but uh when our cursor enters the area of login button it doesn't change its, its color right so we have to uh, set that animation too okay so we'll close this and now we'll work on our animations so here we'll say uh, input and the UD input again in bracket type type is equal to submit submit and here we will say over like when we over it so we'll say over so we are over okay done and then we'll say background color is equal to corn blue co corn flower blue okay and uh what time like transition time will be uh we'll say tra transition oh here it is and we'll say dot five seconds dot five seconds okay so <laughs> we have uh created our 99 percent of login form using html and css till now if you haven't like said and subscribe my video please go and subscribe my channel and like the video now let's see why i have told you that 99 percent it is ready because we haven't run it and see it uh, that all like you know maybe there will be some error or maybe not let's open the paste so there is nothing fault over here no fault over here and again you can see it's changing their color login so yes this is now 100 percent completed our login post sorry so guys like share and subscribe my video please